Good morning, y'all. My focus, uh, I'm not a blue ribbon cooker. My focus is on keeping people warm. So uh, I want to make a quilt that's sturdy and warm and as quickly as possible. It occurred to me yesterday, <clears throat> our temperature has not been above 30 for several days. And it occurred to me yesterday that I needed to get a quilt done um, because somebody out there is cold. I realized that I had a huge stack of 10 by 10 free cuts. <clears throat> I did not have enough to make a quilt, but the amount that I had to cut was few. So, with that in mind, I got started. What I'm doing is to put these three layers together. I'm simply making a plus sign. I sew across and then I sew down. While I'm at it, I wanted to show newbies what it means to chain. That's a term that's used a lot and um, I wanted to demonstrate what that looks like. Chaining simply means that you send your project through the machine without having to stop and cut the threads. So. Here we go. Uh, there's no attention to detail. I'm eyeballing what looks like the center um, right back to just get it done. I run the thread out a little ways. What it does is it twists and so when you're piecing something like these little strips, that seam is not going to come undone when you go to press it. This just eliminates on these blocks having to stop and cut the thread. I'll run the pile out till it falls on the floor or I have to stop and warm my feet up. My she shed is heated, thank you Jesus, but it is so cold today. I'm having to sit for a few minutes with my feet on the heating pad just to get them to have some feeling. <laughs> So here you go kids, this is how you chain. I love y'all, have a blessed day.